having an awesome holiday right now, whatever you're celebrating at the end of the year, this is a really cool time of the year. I love it because it makes me think a lot about the past year, what I loved about it, and then things I want to do better and things I want to grow in and goals that I have. Now, if you're working for a company and you love being at that company, that is awesome and I encourage you to stay there and keep on going, build your career there, help serve other people, bring value to people, you'll do fine. But if your heart longs for something greater, if you're longing to make more money, if you want to have the freedom to do the things you love with the people you love, wherever you love, I encourage you to really think about building passive income. And the reason I say that is it was exactly, almost exactly one year ago that I fired my boss and I left Apple and I became my own entrepreneur. And then I began to start studying how to do that. How do I make a company? How do I build a company? And I didn't just want to replace my current boss at Apple with a new boss being my job. I wanted to find a new way of working so that my new business would work for me instead of me working for it. And I began to realize that the way to do this is to value time because time is my greatest asset. And so what I did is I just started with a dime and I thought if I just double this dime 20 times, it will become, if you can believe it, $100,000. $100,000. I mean, I went around and talked to people and I would ask them this question, you know, how, if I double this 20 times, how much money would it be? And they'd say, oh, 300. You know, one guy said $5.33. I mean, it was crazy. But to actually think about a dime doubling only 20 times is 100,000, that concept, that exponential growth concept applies to every part of our life, our relationships, our time, our health, our heart, our emotions, our mentality, our spirituality, everything. And so I began to apply this principle to how I do business. And through that, I was able to make well over a million dollars in the year of 2016. I built five different passive income streams. Some are real estate, some are selling online. A whole lot of it was from Amazon, some was from coaching. And I began to learn how to manage my time and leverage it in a way that took my strengths, found a need in the market, matched those together, and that would produce income. So I began to think back, well, what was it? What caused me to be able to be effective? And I'll be totally honest with you, I failed my way into success, as one of my clients often tells me, and I love that concept. I made so many mistakes along the way, you wouldn't believe it. But through those mistakes, it became stronger every time. It was like this, I'm going along, and I'm figuring stuff out, and I take one step forward, and the next step, oops, I stepped in a pile of doo-doo, and it messed me up. And so I'd have to take three steps back. And that was discouraging because now I feel like I've digressed. But the next time, I would take four steps forward, then maybe one step back. And over time, I began to make fewer mistakes as time went forward, and I began to have a greater return on my investment. Now, when I say investment, I don't just mean money. I mean quality of life. You see, if my goal was just to get rich, then my happiness is dependent on how much change is in my pocket or how much money is in the account or how many assets I've invested in. But that's not my goal. My goal was to build wealth for a, as a means to an end so I could increase the quality of life for my best friend who is my wife, for my four kids, for my friends here in Austin and other places in the world and how many international people that I work with. My goal was to create a, a way to live a more full life. I also wanted to give back. I'll never forget the day my wife and I were driving. It was a Sunday morning. I remember the freeway. We're going over this hill and we're talking about how someday, and this was like three or four years ago, someday we really want to change our life so that we can give back to others. I used to be very poor. I was broke. I couldn't afford a cheeseburger. I worked day and night. I mean, literally, when I got up, it was dark. When I went to bed, it was dark. There was so little time to spend with my wife and my family, and I was always trying to please someone at work, trying to climb the corporate ladder, and I hated it. I hated the games that came with it. I was sick of the butt kissing. I was tired of all the political games, and you have to like so-and-so or be friends with so-and-so so you can move forward. I mean, as much as I love Apple, the company, the department I was in was not innovative as Apple's supposed to be. It was not growing innovation. It was so much about this inner circle of careers and people trying to get on everyone's best side. It was horrible. I hated it. And I knew I had to break away and start something new. And I'll be honest with you. I was scared. I was lonely. I was afraid. I was, my wife questioned it sometimes. Like, you know, you sure you want to do this? Is this what's going to be best for the family? But I will tell you through it all, not only did she back me and she became one of the greatest supporters and that through that, I was able to become one of the greatest supporters of her career and her goals but it, it caused me to live. Let me put it this way. If you are trying to start your own company, 
your emotions will be much higher and lower at times because everything depends on you. And your success or failure now depends not on your boss or a corporation or some other company that someone else took the risk and started to create you that security. It depends on you. Therefore, you're going to struggle a lot more to figure out, is this going to work? And therefore, your emotions go up and down. But what that does is you begin to mature on the inside and you begin to develop character when you take ownership for your emotions. And all of a sudden, you begin to grow not just in wealth, but as a person. You see, a lot of people don't understand this. It is actually much harder to hold on to a lot of money than it is to make a lot of money. That is why the majority of people who win the lottery or sweepstakes and get a ton of money and you know all the news talks about it and they're millionaires, a year later, they have nothing or they're in debt or they committed suicide. Was the problem the money? Not at all. The problem was on the inside already. The issues were there and those needed to be dealt with first. That's 90% of becoming an entrepreneur is growing as a person. You hear people talk a lot about you need to hustle, you need to hustle. I agree. But what does it take to actually be able to get up in the morning when it's still dark outside and say, okay, I'm ready. Let's run at this as hard as I can. That takes character. And my goal was not just to work all day, every day. I wanted to create a system that would make me money passively. So literally right now, if I was to go and take a two hour nap, I don't need one, but if I was to, I would wake up more wealthy because money is being made for me right now while I talk to you. Not because I'm special, but because I chose a path that I knew would give me a return on my investment. And that's what I do best. I teach people how to do that. My long, if someone said, Seth, what is your long-term goal? What is your dream? It was to start with nothing, build it into something great. Let that constantly make me money, sort of like a money machine as if I created one and it's making me money. And then me to go out and teach other people how to do that. I don't need some super badass car to go around and look amazing, like, ooh, check it out. I don't need that. Could I afford it? Absolutely. Do I need it? No. I drive a freaking minivan. I'm happy with it. Because for me, it was a, it's more about the people. People, I think, are the most amazing. No, I know they are the most amazing thing on earth. Humans are amazing. Like, think about people and their potential and their ability and their creativity and the different looks of people and body types and personality and emotions and ideas and creations and debates and people are amazing. So if you want to build income, if you want to learn how to do that, learn to work with people. And that, requ that requires character development on the inside. And when you grow on the inside, become big on the inside, then all the problems around you become smaller. Because when you're having a tough day, the reality is, the truth is, no matter what's going on around you, only you can control what you do in response. And the bigger you grow on the inside, the smaller the problems around you will become because your perspective changes. You're now in a new place. And then the more opportunity you're going to see as you live this way. That is my story in a nutshell. There's a lot more to it I could share. There were times where I wept and there were times where I literally danced with joy. Not metaphorically, literally danced. But I'll tell you, looking back at it, even the hard times, I thank God for those because even the lowest moments were some of the best. Sometimes I miss them because they created a deeper Seth. They created, they made me stronger. And so that's my encouragement for you today. If you are trying to take on 2017 and you have some goals, you want to lose weight, you want to make more money, you want to fire your boss, you want to find a spouse, a wife, a husband, you want to have some kids, whatever it is, you want to buy a house, you want to get out of debt, start with this. Take ownership for your feelings. Take ownership for your own shit. Excuse my language. Take ownership for your own struggles and then take that first step of courage and do not be afraid. No matter what you're doing, you can win because the challenge is not what's around you, it's what's inside you. The only person to get in the way of me building wealth is me. The only person to get in the way of me being the husband and the father that I need to be is me. So if I can take ownership for my junk and grow and be honest about that with the people I love, it's not only gonna create greater intimacy, but it's going to create greater wealth and success as a person. And remember, I don't just define success as money. I define it as how you live, how you view things. We could live in the middle of the poorest city in the world and be successful based on what we do for that city and how we help to change things. Strip me naked, take everything I have, and put me on the street by myself. If my character, if my heart, if my mindset is in the right place, 
I can learn how to succeed in that environment. Will it be hard? Yes. Will I have many cold nights and maybe get frostbite if I live in Michigan? Absolutely. But there will be a way to find through because my circumstances, my environment, do not have control to teach, to tell me what to do. They'll teach me how to respond and to be strong. That's my goal for 2017. I want to grow stronger on the inside. I want to continue to build wealth on the outside. And I want to help people like you know how to get there. And so I'm going to devote my videos very much to this. And specifically, specifically, how to build passive income on Amazon. In my opinion, right now, this is the greatest opportunity to build wealth quickly and in a very fun and passive way. I don't mean being passive, but where the money makes you more money. And so that's what I'm going to focus on. 2017 is the year of the Amazon seller. This is Seth Kniep, Kniep in a Real. I hope these words have spoken encouragement and challenge to you. And even if it irritated a few parts, I'm okay with that. Sometimes we need that, right? Take ownership for your junk. Make 2017 the best year. Not because you have this amazing resolution, right? But because you want to grow. And if you grow, guess what? Everything else grows. All right, have an awesome day. I'll see you. Bye.